Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Subnautica. Now, last week, I showed you a bit about, you know, how I've been gathering all these supplies because some people were confused about where to find certain things. And yes, scanner rooms help a lot in that regard. But today, we are back here, and it is time. I have done some work. I've got everything, you know, all the way down here to the lower level where I want to build. And so we're going to start today by building the lower area down here. Now, I've already done a little toying with placement, and I'll show you what I've kind of run into as a problem. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually get a third uh, moon pool over here because I kind of need it to actually connect a certain way, and it actually is kind of hitting the rock here. So that's not going to work. So we're just going to end up having moon pools on each side and I don't want them that close together. I kind of want them spread out. So we're going to actually be putting in the little uh, tubes here like this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. And we'll see how this looks when I get done. I actually also added some reinforcement up top to one of the multi-purpose rooms to get my, uh, my hull strength back up a bit. Just because of what's going to be happening here. And actually, you know what? I think I'm going to not use these. We're going to use instead, because I've got... Oh, I don't have any glass. I've got quartz up top, so I'll go grab some quartz, and we're going to use the glass compartments because I have some whole strength to play with, and I want to make it look nice down here. All right, so here we are at the bottom level, and I've got the two glass compartments, the eye compartments right here. You can see it makes it look a little bit nicer. I'm going to be able to look out and see everything, and I've brought down the supplies to put in the two moon pools. I did go and gather some more supplies since last week's episode, specifically for building these things as well as some prawn suits because I want to see how that looks down here. Now I am losing some, you know, reinforcement hole strength right there. I can always put some like on this, you know, like, hey, I could put a reinforcement there. I don't think it's going to mess up the looks any too much, really. I've never really actually put them on the ends like that. I probably will put, actually, I might use right there for the uh, modification upgrade station on each one. Have it facing out that way, and then, but well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe can I, I can put a window right here too? Yeah. Oh, that is a little stuttery, but also looks a little different. I've never seen it do like that. Ah, interesting. So yeah, I've got to go get some more glass. It's also uh, stuttering now. Just having the habitat builder out, like right here, <laughs> it's stuttering. Just having that out in my hand now. I wonder, does it do it? Nope, not with the knife. Not with that, just that in the moon pool too. Not even anywhere else. I guess because of the deconstruct thing that is targeting the moon pool like that. But uh, yeah, I might actually put some uh, glass windows here just to make it look a little bit nicer. And I do want to have a compartment that comes out this way with an observatory and actually I want to have one come out this way with an observatory and because I can go out the moon pools I no longer need the hatch so I can actually take that off now uh, after a bit of a delay of course and you know it, it's kind of slow at targeting things but okay that's gonna work I'm gonna go grab the rest of the stuff I need for making the you know the two observatories everything on this actually we won't do an observatory here what am I gonna look at the rock I'm just gonna stare at the rock and maybe look up like that. No, we'll do an observatory there. And this will be the scanner room. I believe I've got enough for the scanner room too, so I'm gonna go grab that real quick. All right, here we go. Looking good right now. Uh, yeah, a little stuttery over the moon pools, apparently still, even outside. But we're going to put an observatory over here. I just, I went ahead and I made sure when I came here, I was gonna have enough, you know, like supplies. I even brought stalker teeth for stuff like this. Um, I think that's, yeah, okay, it looked like it was about to not connect correctly, and then it did, so yay. Oh, and I am way down on my whole integrity. And, oh, I have actually grabbed one titanium too few. So, I actually do need to go get some more supplies. I'm gonna have to go put some more reinforcement up. Uh, my, my health strength has dropped really fast from those, so... Yeah, I need to go and reinforce things a little bit before it starts to break. I think I'm just going to add two more reinforcements on the corners here. And as you see, I hear I actually finally added a fabricator in here. So it doesn't cause me to drain the power cells of my Cyclops fabricating in there. Instead, I could just come in here and use up all of this 7,000 plus energy I have. 
All right, here we go. We are going to put a re. Well, I was going to put a reinforcement there, but apparently it does not like that positioning. Okay, I can I can put one there. I'm not sure about the other one. I don't remember having anything on the wall. The wall looked free and clear, but it's acting like I can't put anything there. Go, put it in in that place, that that spot. D d don't. That's on that wall. That's not even on this wall here. Don't tell me that's. Can I do it now? Right, fine, I'm just gonna deconstruct this. Uh, let's try putting it over on this wall. Yeah, look, it perfectly fine. That's right there, no problem. So, uh, what? Apparently, I had it too far over. Apparently, it was just that that one millimeter too far over this way causing a problem there. So, all right, I have got 15 whole strength again. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go this way, jump out here, and it's time to throw the scanner room up here. There we go. So, I have a scanner room here. Really, once I get the uh, range upgrades in this, it's really not going to make that big of a difference if it was up top or down below. I'm still going to get the same range, pretty much. And it should be, uh... See, it should have a nice crisscross with that scanner room out there. But, yeah, we've got a scanner room now make use of all that solar power I've got going. Uh, and I've got two moon pools for the prawn suits. I should, I believe I got the right supplies for. I mean, I got supplies. I believe I got the right supplies. If not, then we may be, uh, I may be making another quick run. And I definitely feel like I need some lighting down here. Especially for this. If I'm going to come here and look up like this, I want to see some lighting out here. So I need, I need work lights or spotlights out here, I believe. But yeah, we've got a nice little view. Look around. All the little bulbs glowing in the distance. Looks nice. And we can actually oversee the uh, deployment of the prawn suits here. And be like, oh, hey, guys. Yeah, you need to do something. I may still put like a landing platform down below. Like a foundation down there. But I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure it should take no effect on this because it's so separated from it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's where we stand right now. And let's see if we can even see anything going down that way uh uh no we can't all right well i'm gonna get the supplies and i've got a very special uh plan in mind for how i want to do the prawn suits so let me grab those supplies and grab my uh mobile vehicle bay and get everything set up for that and let's see if this is gonna work the way i hope it does all right so here we are glorious new day and i had to make a quick trip back to my original base because i miscounted a little bit I was short enamel glass, so I had to go back and get some stalker teeth, uh, which was no problem once I got back in the range. And, you know, scanner, there's stalkers all through an area. It was easy enough. I just had to go back and grab it. But as you can see, I'm here in the little lagoon, and I have my mobile vehicle bay here. And what I'm hoping to do is actually spawn the prawn suits inside the bay and dive down with them, just kind of like a free fall down below, and let's see what happens. Uh... All right, so it's giving me the option. See, see if it actually... Okay, it is. Make sure it does not break something by putting it in, like, the wall. And it kind of looks like it's in the wall. It's in the... Oh, there it goes. Oh. Oh, it landed just right. Oh, that's actually perfect. I'm, like, right here. I can move it over and then take a jump. And, uh... I don't know why that's showing up again. Oh, there, look, the... It's sitting down now, and it wasn't a moment ago. It randomly does that. It looks like it's broken. Sometimes it sits down. Sometimes it doesn't. There we go. All right. So, vehicle bay. Make another prawn suit for me, please. I'm going to then dive with him. I want to just free fall from here. I was hoping this would work. I thought about maybe trying... Well, you know, if I could build him up on land, I could do that too. I may... Oh. That one kind of looked a little funnier. Uh, you know what? Actually, what we might do is we'll take one just from here, and the other one will go up there. We'll try to make our way up and jump down in and fall that way. But let's go ahead. We'll take this candidate. Unless this is this is not the best. No, that's the best place. Actually, let's take this one. He's right here on the edge. He's ready to jump off and get down there, and then I'll have to worry about you know building my upgrades. But we. 
Oh, it you really don't realize how fast you fall in these. Like, seriously, how quickly you fall. Oh, I just barely, barely missed. Oh, there we go. Oh, that, that was fun. That, that was enjoyable. Very quick, over very quickly, but hey, that was fun. I, I got here. I feel like this might be the hardest one to kind of line up because I cannot see the, uh, the spot there. We'll come here. We'll, we'll sit on this thing and then go. Go. That's why I wanted like a landing platform below. But, yeah, you know, I don't know if that's going to work or not. It may not work. I may just have to kind of make them jump like that. There we go. We got one in. And actually, that's facing this way. So I think I might end up putting the, the upgrade station here instead. And that's actually, that's perfect. That's where I... Well, no, I kind of wanted the glass window looking out. So I may still put it back here. We'll just put a window right there so I can look out. And I would look high, high out there, fishies, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'll probably just do it behind. But there's one. Let's go back up and jump down with the other one because I want to see it actually, like, jump off the ledge. I'm going to, you know, commit suicide with it, basically. I want to see what it looks like jumping down from on the... Uh, rock ledge above where where are you come here I see now it's standing up again it's not sitting down it's just so glitchy still in this game and I think we're gonna be best to go that way I can kind of jump like a little height and then fly some before I just sink uh all right wait here we go here we go Three, two, one. We and I'm oh wow oh I missed oh I, I I clipped like the edge of it. Uh uh oh I'm actually far enough out. Bam oh did far did go all the way. I actually landed where I was uh you know. All right all right yeah come on con keep me from falling too far till I can get lined up. There we go. Look at that. So two prawn suits, nice little jump from up above. I'm not going to be getting these things back up there. Not without some major upgrades. And unfortunately, the jump jets do not stack. So yeah, I think that's going to be a case of they're not going back up too far. And let's see what we got. We got diamond, gel sacks. Yeah, quartz, creature. Ruby. Got different chunks here. Got titanium. Weird. And you're not wreck. So we got plenty of stuff here. And that's not even with... The range upgrades yet, which I'll be doing some range upgrades. I don't have a magnetite with me, unfortunately. I'll have to get some magnetite. I think I still got some quart or copper, but yeah, I need some magnetite. But yeah, there we go. That's it. That is the lower section. We've got some stuff going. We've got a nice little view right here. Look up all the way up there. We got a nice big diving spot up there. It takes a moment to climb up there. I actually do have an idea I'm going to be experimenting with for the next couple weeks while I have time uh, instead of gathering supplies actually experimenting with a new method for doing the tower so I can actually maybe take that tower back apart get the titanium out get supplies back make it easier and just rebuild it using a slightly different method that I think may actually work better in the long run but I'm not sure I've got to I'm gonna have to do some experimenting with it I'm not sure how well it's gonna work uh, it's going to take, it's going to be really tricky to get it to work right, but I'm going to be playing with that, trying to get things going so I can do that instead of having to go and click like this and click and click. Cause I think it was what 60 something, 70 floors that I went all the way up from bottom to top just to come up here and be like, all right, we're up top. You know, you can see it. I still feel like I kind of want to have maybe some lights up here. Yeah, again, if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you can see how high up I am. We actually, like, run over here and look down <laughs> on my massive farm there. Just everything that's over there. All that I built already with this. And uh, then we just, we're going to come here and dive down. Is it right here? Yes. Swan dive! Just, we I, I barely... Avoided that ledge, it looks like. 
All right, so we've got some fun stuff we can do with this. And now there's one other glaring thing I know we need. We've got food production, like right, fish tanks. We've got food production over here above the water level, not underwater. I never did finish the grow, like the planting the grow beds. I've built them, but I didn't plant anything because of the problems we're seeing with the, uh, you know, stuttering over here. I still want to kind of build that tube section out and then connect it up back this way. So I'm still missing that. I still need to build the launch platform for the Neptune rocket, which I actually have everything for. I put that all aside a while back and I have not touched it. But the big thing we're missing that I, I've been thinking about, I was like, I could put it on another section of the island. I could always try to expand out, maybe take one of these sections off of the middle column, expand further away. But I think what I actually want to do is I'm just going to build it over this way somewhere, figure out some way to connect it. We need residents. We need a place for people to live. And we're on this big island, very scenic island. Why would they want to live underwater? So I feel like we need some kind of above ground living complex of multi-purpose rooms that allow for people to have a nice view during the day or at night when they're sleeping, you know, and look out. So I'm going to have to do some thinking on that. I'm not sure where I want to put it yet. I was thinking over there, building off of that. But same time, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe we'll come off of here. Maybe have an exit from one of these points that goes over to another side of the island with a complex. Or like I said, I could always take this observatory off. And we'll build another long tube section going like this way and kind of curving out here. And coming along over here. And then build a new platform. New set of foundations over here with multi-purpose rooms on top. And it'll just be little apartment towers over here. So everybody's got this nice view of like the Aurora, you know, and everything. Just very nice little living complex. But we do still need that. We've got kind of the production and science going and the parking areas going. Uh, still got to have living areas for people when they're here. So that's, that's kind of where we're at, at the moment. Like I said, I do want to experiment with that some more. I think I'll do that first because that would give me a ton of titanium back to build those other multi-purpose rooms. And I just got to figure out what else I want to do kind of with this. I, I think we're getting close to being done with this actual section with this base. So go ahead and leave me a comment below if you have a suggestion for where to go next. Like what region. I know we've had the crater has been suggested, a few things like that. And I like the idea of maybe doing something with the crater. I also like the idea of building with one of the big uh, mushroom trees. That would be kind of interesting. We do have the little stopping base down in the uh, inactive lava zone. So we don't really need anything major down there. Uh, and I will, I will build a void base at some point. I do have that in plans. But I've got a very specific idea for that. So let's ignore the void for now. Uh, I'll, that will be something done much later on. And so let's get some other ideas going. See what everybody wants me to do next. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think we should do for the next base location. But yeah, we're closing in on this. I've got some experimenting to do with this. Setting it up. I'm going to have to go get supplies. Start figuring out some decorations too because it's very bland inside. Looks great outside. We need some decorations inside. I need things like the power cell chargers over there at the moon pools that way probably i don't really need power cell chargers there i need you know power cell chargers for the cyclops the battery chargers things like that so i've got a lot of electronics to put in a lot of stuff just you know filling this place out so it looks better inside and still thinking about some other things so yeah that's going to be it for today's episode if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button as i said leave me a comment about where you think i should go to the next base location and just you know any comments in general about maybe decorations or things like that on here and of course hit subscribe if you haven't done so already as always i'm your host mr spicy thanks so much for watching be sure to keep it spicy this week and i'll see you in the next video